Guyana may be ranked with the United States of America owing millions to support-based international organizations. PPC Chief Whip and Shadow Minister of Foreign Affairs Gildeshira acknowledging that Ghana's debt owed to these support-based organizations questioned the huge payout, saying that the non-payment issue hasn't done any damage in the past. Foreign Affairs Minister Carl Gwinnett took umbrage at Teixeira's statement. So are you expecting that having been so generous of $1.7 billion, $500 million more, that Ghana will be in a better advantageous position to get more support from these organizations? Thank you, Honourable Member. Honourable Minister. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm, I'm interested but not surprised to hear my distinguished uh, <laughs> colleague explain that the non-payment has not done us any damage in the past. Not but too much. she would know, as I do, that as members of many of these institutions, uh, when uh, critical decisions need to be made, elections and the like occur, and you are uh, cited as a member that is uh, not financially um, current, it has implications. It Minister Guinness told the House, while the, the non-payments to these support-based organizations like the United Nations, CARICOM, etc., will not hurt Guyana every year, there are times when it matters. And in our particular case, the struggle that we have, the, prim the, the primary struggle that we have, is a struggle to keep, um, to keep current in these institutions so that our voice can be heard, especially if it's on, a political, on the political front where we need allies. And also, you will know from the statements by the Minister of Finance in a number of these institutions, we have been seeking additional funding um, and, and uh, special loans and the like. So the, the utility of uh, keeping current, I think, is one that uh, I, would, I, would commend, I would commend to, uh, to my colleague. For example, member states owe the United Nations $3.5 billion for its regular operating budget and peacekeeping operations. Its management chief has announced the funding gap is just over $950 million, including about $800 million owed by the U.S., $77 million by Brazil, and $28 million by Venezuela. Member states also owed about $2.6 billion to the separate UN peacekeeping budget. France owed the most, $356 million, followed by the U.S., which must pay $337 million. And Italy owed about $250 million. And that's just the UN. We have not peeked into the OAS, CARICOM, CARIFORM, etc. Minister Greenis said it is of utmost importance that Guyana pay its debt to these support-based international bodies. But was the share satisfied with the Minister's Greenwich response? It happens to be important in the context of CARICOM, and it is equally important in the case of the multilateral agencies with whom uh, we, we, we collaborate and from whom we often need assistance. I thank the Honourable Minister. The Honourable Member, Member, and I will continue to debate this issue. Uh, as long as the Americans and the big countries owe lots of money to these, I have no conscience and problem with a small country like Guyana owing. But my colleague and I will continue to argue on this issue. Uh In the end, the line item 6322 was approved by the House. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV2 Headline News.